it's a Crookshanks! <laughs> there we go. So hi everyone, it's Cara again, and this is my friend Tegan. Hi! And this is my cat. And this is my friend Michael. <laughs> and this is my friend Michael. Hey. And hi. Okay. okay, so we decided that we were going to do our favourite things that we thought that the Harry Potter films did better than the books. So we thought we'd be a bit controversial. And I'm going to, like we've all thought about it a little bit, but we had kind of two topics in mind. So as Michael's probably thought about it the most, I'm going to ask him the first thing that he thought the film did oh. better than the books. <laughs> no pressure then. No pressure, right, you're going first. Half of them are from one movie, which is quite yeah. concerning. All right then, fine. As it's Prisoner of Azkaban is the earliest movie of which I can I remember these changes. I'll start one. Let's see. You had a debate one, Trunk and Head. It was one of the things yeah. that was one of the things I liked a lot from the films. They were cool, yeah. but there was other things I felt like could have. Like it was a good add-in, mm. but it's not something that I'm like. It changes the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> well. No, but even J.K. Rowling said she wished yeah. that yeah. she thought about it. No, I do it. enjoy them. I think the funniest thing for me about those were the fact, and we had this conversation yeah. earlier, about, you know, when, when they're in Hogsmeade and it's like, young wizards aren't in allowed today. Yes. Shut the damn door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, that was good. right, so Madame Rosmerta knows when the kids are being let, uh, allowed out for Hogsmeade. So yeah. why is it on that day when they're only allowed out like three times in the year <laughs> that she decides <laughs> that there's no young wizards? <laughs> Like, that seems like bad planning. <laughs> yeah, people in the magical world wouldn't be good at business, would they? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're business, they wouldn't last very long. They'd fail. It's just like, kind of like, so the kids are allowed out for the first time this term. Let's make them not able to come into my pub. <laughs> No, that was just one thing because obviously they're the ones that tell them to get out. Yeah. See, yeah. I mean, I'd argue that the teachers aren't going to want them in there, but I mean, look at everything that happened to Harry. I mean, really, where are the limits? Where are the limits? He gets to the point where Harry's actually in discussing the fate of the school. <laughs> Yeah. And before, before that book, it's like the Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets. He's he's already been through a lot. Let's be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I've seen this all three times. Which is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. To be honest, I mean, this is all, this is also a school where you've got magical forbidden forest where everyone's probably going to go in and everyone's going to disobey the rules at some point. <laughs> anyway, allowed so... in the forbidden forest. And exactly. Then everybody yeah. goes in the forbidden it's like, forest. Like you know, you're going to call some forbidden. <laughs> everyone's going to want to go in it. Yeah. It's like oh, yeah. just do whatever you want. Yeah. Then you're not going to be really tempted well, to go in. Yeah, I mean, they they just proved that in the first film with the stairs. They were like, yeah. they were like the stairs. Third floor, right? Don't go on the third floor. And then they were like, oh, look at these stairs that keep going to the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many times do you have to do something in order for it to be like, well, you can see where this is going. <laughs> and Harry just You'd think that, like, with the way he'd kind of grown up and everything, he'd kind of know where the, where the limits were. Yeah, <laughs> like, with the whole, like, you live in the <laughs> cupboard, you know, not in the cupboard. Fair. So he just goes out of his way to, like, accident accidentally break every rule <laughs> that possibly is for the rest of his life. Yeah, like, I kind of broke this rule, Professor, but I kind of had to do it. If so. it had to, like, to. we had to do it. We, we thought this professor was going to do something that we had absolutely nothing to do with. <laughs> it's like yeah. we were the only people who could save the philosopher's stone. <laughs> no one believed us. We went to McGonagall. We we to be fair, yeah. they did go to McGonagall. Yes. Oh. But after they went to the third floor and then everything else just yeah. kind of went. I love, I love how that's turned a conversation from shrunken heads to yeah, every, yeah, every, every so really breaking the school possible. One thing I really do love from, again, Prisoner of Azkaban, um, <laughs> is where, movie, yeah. I don't know, it's so good for adding it's things so into good. it though. Like, oh. <coughs> um, but no, I love the bit where they're eating the sweets and they're just acting like boys. Yes. It's like, Neville, try yeah, an that, elephant. I know, that's No, don't touch the white one. Oh, look at it, look at it. It is, it is. It is. Harry gets to oh. be normal for five minutes. I know, <laughs> it's for five minutes. You mentioned they see him as Harry, their friend, and yeah, school Yeah, Harry, their friend, right, not yeah. Harry Potter, uh -huh. the boy who yeah. lived to them. So it's just like, it's just so cute. And I want those sweets. Like, yes, I, would I love love those, those sweets. Those sweets are amazing. <laughs> those sweets are so cool. It's 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 those moments that kind of you watch for, don't you? Because I mean, mm. all the plot and the drama is fine, but then you like all the, the moments, little bits, the, the little bits, bits yeah. that you can really, really. Yeah. I mean, which I mean, I think you get a lot more of them in the books, but the films do them really well. Yeah. Because mm. they have to select their moments. Mm -hmm. I use them all the time. I'd mess yeah. with people. Uh -huh. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be at dinner, and then I quickly <laughs> eat one, like the lion was. Yeah. Go, can you pass the um, peas or something? And just go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it's like when you 
you're a kid and you get those like super sour sweets and then yeah. all of a sudden everyone's daring everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, here, have a lemon one. I dare, I dare you eat this one in front of McGonagall. Like, yeah. 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 And Snape, imagine trying yeah, to keep one in potions. Mm -hmm. You just wouldn't. Yeah. No one would mess with Snape. <laughs> just, just, just try like a puking pastel in potions or something. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, that was that was a good bit in the films. The bit where they had um, Ron and Harry watching all the little first years go by, and it's like it reminded me so much of when I was at school, and all the older ones would be like just like watching as you go by, just yeah. laughing. Because you like you have no idea what's going on when you're yeah, when you're, you're in like, your first year. Like, you're this? like, this is so scary. And then you've got all these like taller, <laughs> older people. And then you see, and then when they get told off, and they're like, don't you have somewhere to be? And it's like, oh okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, they're not that different from us <laughs> after all. And then you remember that you're going, be, uh, Potter, take Mr. Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over yeah. there. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's enjoying himself yeah, too much. He needs to be productive. Which, to be fair, I mean. The impression that like McGonagall had a soft spot. For oh, she does mm. definitely. I think it comes from like the first year with the whole chess thing, yeah. where it turns out he's really good. At it. I think as well because obviously I think she knows that he feels a bit trodden on compared to yeah. his brothers. So uh -huh. she's probably like. Mm. Plus, I mean, I know, I mean, he's come from this line of Weasleys. I mean, Bill's like working for Gringotts and Egypt, and Charlie's working for Dragon, Head Boys Dragons in Romania. Percy, I mean, <laughs> perfect Percy. <laughs> Perfect prefect Percy. Perfect prefect Percy. Alliteration triple P. <laughs> the bit in the second one where he's reading the books about um, oh, yeah. prefects with power. I'm wrong, but I mean, that's dead in your I know, I mean, you get so much of Percy, like, in the books, um, but the moments in the films are actually pretty good with yeah. him. Um, like, the bit where the fat lady disappears in Prison yeah. of Azkaban, mm. and he's, like, suddenly there and just, like, swimming and through. See, that's the that's children. one thing, like, people judge him because they're like, and he's like, I'm head boy, I'm yeah. head boy. I'm like, to be fair, as head boy, that's kind of his job. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when people go, oh, look at Percy trying to get involved, it's like, yeah. well, actually, it's when actually, you think it's about it, it yeah. like, he's the one that is yeah. supposed to be going to the students, like, move out the way, I'm head boy, like, yeah. Back mm -hmm. away from the scene and yeah. I don't it's know like, the way he said it. I thought he said. Oh, oh yeah, the way he says it. Like, yeah. I know what you mean. When people go, like, "Oh, Percy trying to be in," it's like to be fair, that is his mm -hmm. job. The last film, mm -hmm. uh, Neville's bit where Voldemort comes up and Harry's dead mm -hmm. and everything, and and Neville steps up. Yeah. I thought the film did that really well mm -hmm. because I know it's I know it's different. Yeah. Um, but I actually quite liked it the way that Neville kind of got this shining moment. Yeah, he got you know? his little limp in. He got his little like limp in and. I mean, such a good actor, yeah. and I think he really sold it, especially because in the beginning, there's always like, Neville's not a very good wizard, mm. he's like from this pure blood family, but they're not like the Malfoys, or the, mm. he's not even like the Weasleys. Or the Potters, when they're the Potters, they. exactly. Questions I mean, why he's put into Gryffindor. Exactly, yeah. and so. you always get like the mention, um, you get mentions of his parents and like that tragedy, but and he's like, all that stuff about his grandma where it's like it doesn't sound like it's mm. the best situation yeah, yeah. Like the really, isn't it? and then it was just really nice to have Neville stand out so much in that last movie mm -hmm. yeah I quite liked that yeah. plus it just looked really cool <laughs> oh, but can you just imagine how Neville would feel where you get that really big moment where you stand up to follow and then find out Harry's live like Harry I'm glad you're alive but damn you you ruined <laughs> my you ruined my, you ruined my big moment I know. <laughs> You know, bless him. <laughs> and I thought it was great that the sword showed up for him in the mm. movie because, like, after all that stuff with the sword and everything, it then, almost proves to it him it, that he's a Gryffindor. He's a total Gryffindor, especially because they put so much emphasis on it in the second in the mm. second movie, where the end, where it's like the sword's just like kind of in the hat rather than falling on Harry's head <laughs> as it does in the book, which I kind of wish we'd see. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, and it was just. It just really proved that Neville was like, mm. you know, yes, this guy who's great with plants and everything. Is, <laughs> he's got it. Yeah, he's got this. It. Yeah, it's, it's like a full circle thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 It was. It was a great character yeah. arc. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, just great how oh, Neville's physical appearance sort of changed as well. They didn't give him the buck teeth that they gave him in the other. Yeah, they had to give him fake teeth and things because he was getting too good looking. Oh, he, <laughs> he did get like, really we'll good looking. Like, we'll give you a part and we'll give you a part. It got to the point though, like, you imagine like, a lot of people just looking on pictures on Facebook and it's got Matthew Lewis who played Neville, is just going through puberty. It's like, it's like, oh, no, he's Neville. Whoa, what happened here? <laughs> yeah. Puberty, uh -huh. whoa. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Like all of a sudden Neville's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely that, that moment where you're like, wait, yeah. that's Neville? Yeah. <laughs> this one's, what's it really? 
I put down the, the way that in Prisoner of Azkaban it was the scenery of Hogwarts and how you got to yeah. see everything. But, but I'm thinking that's not really different to the book, so to speak, because it's like comparison to previous. Well, I to mean, me, it's not seeing it visually I mean, compared to reading it is yeah. that, that thing. I mean, it was quite good to the, the Shrieking Shack. Mm. I liked uh, I liked all those bits because it's so detailed in the film and everything. And I mean, you do get all that in the books, but it's not quite the same. Yeah. yeah. Although I do miss out all the stuff they left out about the Marauders and the Remus to do with the Shrieking yeah. Shag and that, because mm. you know that would have been because yeah, they don't bring it up. Too yeah, much they don't bring it up that much, and it's like it's like why are they all congregating there? Like why there in the books? You know why, <laughs> but in the film you don't. But it was it was a good setting. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think what I mean is like the scenery, I like the fact that at first, because I saw the first two films, Hagrid's hut is completely differently positioned <laughs> yeah. from the third film onwards yeah. as it is to the first two, and I was, that bothered me a lot at first, but then yeah. I keep watching I think, actually this works better. Yeah, it does. Didn't they go up to Scotland, I think, to film for the Probably, yeah. I'm sure they well, went they built, to... Obviously they built the um, Hogwarts in yeah. the studio. Yeah. They, they built like the model scale actual, Hogwarts, yeah. Hogwarts yeah. now. Yeah. So it looks more like a castle, mm, yeah. it looks more like an actual boarding school, whereas the first two you could kind of sense there's we film bits of pieces of a castle <laughs> yeah. and yeah. make it look uh -huh. like a school, like, yeah. Yeah. you know, but... Yeah. Which kind of worked because, I mean, in the first one, obviously with the moving stairs and everything, mm. it kind of, you kind of needed that sense of disconnect almost. And the way that Hagrid's hut is positioned works for the movie because obviously he needs the pumpkin patch there mm -hmm. and the way that Hermione throws the, <laughs> throws them at Harry I thought that was a great addition because obviously that doesn't happen in the books but I thought it was nice to see Harry kind of have that like you know where he gets smacked in the back of the head and hurts. he's like ah that hurts technically because, Hermione apologizes straight away <laughs> yeah, yeah but I mean you see in the books you get a little bit of a sense that Harry's a bit clumsy yeah you don't get that in the movies yeah. until you get little moments like that where you're like how oh, you know where did that come yeah. from you know uh, you just get a bit more of a sense that here's this guy who like likes all the sweets and everything of the magic world and he's every now and again something unexpected but not deadly happens to him <laughs> not all of his surprises are good ones no. <laughs> That'd be like a short list, top 10 surprise, good surprises for Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe less good than surprise. that. Good surprises, yeah, good surprises. I was, I was thinking about this the other day, like when I was writing my one of my fan pictures, I was going through all the chapters, I was like, is there a happy chapter? <laughs> and I was like, wait, yeah. no, the borrow. No, no the, the first part of the borrow is in the escape no, from the dead. Yes, yes, I was basically. thinking on it. I was going, yeah. I was, 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 was rereading that on the train this morning. Great. I brought Chamber of Secrets with me because I was like, I was like, you know what? It's been a long time since I've picked these up, so I'm gonna reread the first one, and then I was like, and then I'm just gonna carry on. So I'm only up to about like I, I was rereading Chamber of Secrets on the train this morning, and I was just absolutely tearing through it, and just going <laughs> for it. I was like, uh, and then I got to this point where I was like coming into the train station, and I was like. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it down. You're like, no, <laughs> oh, I'm not finished yet. I've still got like this much to go. <laughs> Could a train conductor can you just go another three hours like up and down the country? Just like, go around, just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> and run them back. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's like I finished Chamber of Secrets. Wait, do I stop now? No, I want Prisoner of Azkaban now. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. No, I think this series did get better in the later movies, so I think that's one thing mm -hmm. I really liked. Yeah, I think yeah. totally not, it was like when Harry flies across, the big scenes when Harry's on Buckbeak and he just flies yeah, around the castle. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I mean, that, you know, one of the issues was... I don't have with Half-Blood Prince, I don't know why, but it's like the film that doesn't stick in my mind as much as the others, but one of the problems I don't have is the scenery. The scenery mm. in Half-Blood Prince oh, is agree. really good. The cave is really fantastic. Yes, yes. And um, up on the astronomy tower? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good as Which, well. Which, like, I wanted more of that kind of thing <laughs> yeah. because you get certain parts of the castle. I mean, obviously, you get the hall and you get the defensive you know, dark room. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which, let's be honest, we know why they're always in there. <laughs> <laughs> and you get um, Snape's classroom a little bit, not as much as I'd like, because yeah. how cool would it be to see more of that? But the astronomy exactly tower, I mean, <laughs> how much do you want to see mm -hmm. so much of that? Yeah. I mean, even mm. the Great Lake, you want to get that in Goblet of Fire, and it's like... Yeah, mostly. We get it... Yeah, no, yeah, because you don't even get it in Azkaban. Yeah. It's like a little like, lake in the middle of the forest yeah. that happens on. Yeah. Whereas, obviously, in the book, it's yeah. the Great Lake. Mm -hmm. Oops, <laughs> the Great Lake that it Even happens. in Goblet of Fire, you kind of get the Great Lake, but you just get the bit you need to see yeah. in order to see the yeah, second exactly. task. You don't really... You see, but like, you the... do get the Great Lake in Prisoner of Azkaban, because Buck Beak... Why are you Oh, a little... Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Where Harry does his Titanic moment. 
Let's be honest. It looks really fun. Like, it looks like so much fun. Which is quite funny because Harry was very reluctant at first. He was, like, was like, right, thank know, you, right? man. Let him write out. Yeah. What? what? Oh, hey, hey, hey. I, I didn't agree to this. <laughs> Consent. <laughs> I can be friend, but please, there's a limit. But it's fun that he doesn't even go do it, like, because obviously I think in the book he gets on on his own accord. Yeah, like, yeah. Which is a good thing about it's the like, movies. Yeah. And it's just kind of, he just goes, there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> As if he's a toddler. Which I thought fitted um, Hagrid's, the, Hagrid's like, personality, yeah. the film one especially, yeah. were, like much more than, it's you know, like, right. <laughs> off you go. <laughs> Oh. And I like the fact that you get more of it as well, because like in the book, it's pretty contained, yeah. but then you get like him going proper out there, and it's like, this is what mm. we want to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's easier to do on film, I think, that. Yeah. 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 Kind of yeah. 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 I think the bit then, that scene that was great was when, who, want, right, who, right, who wants to come and say hello? Everybody <laughs> stepped out apart from Harry. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> like, hello, Harry. Well, like, <laughs> and oh, he's like, oh, yeah, that so was, that oh, was, thank you. Yeah, that was a great addition. He's just like, it's so, like Harry, you, you, you've defeated Voldemort once, you've faced it. So let's see if you can get back to it for Griffith. It's all right. No problem. Oh, this is okay for you. Yeah. yeah. But it's great seeing um, the scene. <laughs> this is all like, you know, Prince of Azkaban. But the scene <laughs> with the book, the first time he opens it. Yeah. That was so, so good. good on the film. Because <laughs> and just, then he just jumped on it. Like, just <laughs> the way you get to see it was just <laughs> absolutely brilliant. I do have a question though. Because obviously, you know how like in the... Um, I mean, it probably happens in the book as well, but you know how like it's eating the paper. Yeah. I'm like, mm. so if you don't catch it quickly, you start losing points. It's Hogwarts. Let's be honest, we would not be surprised. <laughs> like, I don't have like I was like turn to page twelve, and someone's like, I don't have page twelve anymore. All right, then how many pages do you have? I have the beginning page and the closing page. I, I don't have anything other than I have like the index. Page. I have like this page. I have like first page, the last page, and like page like fifty something. I have. <laughs> Page 394. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, nice, nice reference. Nice reference. Oh dear. So sad. That'd be quite like, oh, wait, oh, turn to open the pages. What, 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 sir? I don't have any pages left. But there are no <laughs> pages. Absolutely everything. It's, 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 just, it's, just, it gives you... it's just the colour. And what happens when all the pages are gone? Does the book die? Oh. Mm, I don't know. Ooh. JK. <laughs> You should, you, should, you, should, you, should, you should you should try just try writing your homework and put the pages inside the books like instead of oh, the, book my my the book ain't my homework the book ain't my homework like oh you don't believe me look here it is not the owl not the no, cat not, not the, the dog. dog it's the no. monster book of monsters exactly. oh. that would have happened that would have happened to me yeah oh Neville that would have happened to me yeah. Neville yeah. would have put his monster book of monsters yeah. book with his others and then it would have attacked yeah, yeah. <laughs> poor Neville yeah on that point in Chamber of Secrets um, the bit with the bit with Ron's uh, Ron's owl Errol. <laughs> <laughs> like, he smashed against the wall. <laughs> that was like poor Errol. He's always doing that. Yeah, he's always doing that. <laughs> Um, Look at the ways he's going to make a big deal out of it. Like, oh, he just gets in there like, oh, he's doing yeah. it. Oh, let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right, I liked, the, I liked the fact that howlers go up in flames in the book. Yeah. But I loved the way it tore itself yeah. up in the film. I thought that was so good. Plus, I imagine that was easier to film actually, yeah, a little probably. bit as well. It was easier to, yeah. you know, to show. Yeah. But I thought it was... And the tongue sticky out bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And, <laughs> I know, at first it was like, oh, and then it was like, actually, no, this totally this works. <laughs> this works. It looks really oh. good. Uh, one thing, I'm, I'm going to try and prisoner of Azkaban yeah. away here. <laughs> um, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah, the moment, because obviously one thing, one critique a lot of people have about the um, films is they don't have a lot of Harry's sass moments. Yes. But I'm going to yeah. talk about the sass moment that Harry has in the films that's not in the books, where he's like, oh. is that a bonnet? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is such a... You can oh, see yeah. James is glowing. Uh, yes. In his James, eyes. James, absolutely. Like, Mum sent you a dress. Wait, well, my child, Wait, is my there dress. a bonnet? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Like it's such a Harry Potter moment. It is so rare for the films, but like it's yeah, so it is. It's, the it's definitely it's, it's it, it was a, definitely a great moment. <laughs> oh, you made me think about the sassy moments. Now you do wish they'd yeah, put that into the movies. There's a lot of moments where you're just like, well done, yeah. Harry. Well done. Yeah, especially uh, moments between him and Snape. Yeah, there's a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, that's a Ginny quote, it's not a Harry quote, never mind. <laughs> I, was, I know we tried to deep away from Prince Fastball, I will mention this one, the one who reads the Marauder's map message to Snape. Yes! And he just goes like, go on. But it, it. Harry's not when he says, it's all abnormally large, it's when he goes like this. 
<laughs> and request oh, yeah, the, yeah, like, I'm going to enjoy the world, this and the request the key because I normally know it's yeah. out of other people's business. Yeah. yeah, you asked for this. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you asked me what it said. It's like, uh -huh. One thing as well, it's like, Snape knows who they are. Like, Harry doesn't yeah. know. He I know. must have known I'm that they like, weren't like, going to be kind. Like, yeah. There is no way, right, that a group of lads call themselves the Marauders and don't tell the entire school that they are called the Marauders. That's because like, we literally see it as well, though. Like, obviously in the, in the Snape's worst memory, yeah. they call oh. themselves prongs and pads. Yeah, exactly. Like, so, I mean, there's so no way like, he doesn't know. Exactly. So, like, he, especially as they're his arch rival. Hi. As they're his arch rivals, like, he's yeah. going to know what that yeah. is. And it's just like, the fact he's like, Mrs. Mooney, and because he says that bit first, and Snape's like, go on. <laughs> you know it's not gonna yeah, be good. You know it's not gonna like, be good. Like, even why? if it was, why would you do this? It's, like, even, especially because you're you, like, they're not gonna be yeah. polite it's to you. That, I mean, if he knows, if he knows, like, obviously, Mooney, Pagfoot, yeah. Pagfoot, and Wormtail, how does he not ask Harry where he gets it from? Yeah! <laughs> Like, where did you find that? That would be unique well. so Snape to ask him as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, And the I fact that, like, that. he lets Remus take it, because obviously he has to because oh. of the position that he's in. Yes. I know. <laughs> um, but because of the, because technically Remus, and I love that line where it's like, this is my area of expertise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and he has to give him it even though he doesn't want to. Yeah, uh -huh. And it's like, kind of like, he knows that he knows what it is. And it's just like, the bit, it's just so funny, <laughs> yeah. the way it's kind of like, yeah. Snape has to just like, let it happen, yeah. because like, uh -huh. society demands it, <laughs> <laughs> if you like. Yeah. That scene oh. in general was fantastic. Oh, it I is. love it. Turn out <laughs> your <Yeah>. pockets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gr oh, it's a great scene. Like even the portraits, uh -huh. they like so they add so much yeah. just to that moment. Are you deaf? <laughs> Turn what that light out. out. <laughs> Still just like yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, one thing I think is really cool about the film as well is like not many people see it. Is you know when he's like going, uh, how he's like turning it off and he goes knocks. Just before he says knocks, you can see Snape's face, like a white little patch, like you can see Snape coming around the corner. Oh, yeah. And like not many people see it, but like that's clever. Kind of you literally see him, mm -hmm. see the light go yeah. out, and then he comes around the yeah. and the light off. Because uh, otherwise, what reason would he have to turn it off? Yeah. So that like, you can see yeah. him just come into view from yeah. the corridor. I'll tell you what I do like. I like the fact that they had Harry see um, that Wormtail was on the map. Yeah, rather than because if they'd had Remus see it, we wouldn't have known. We yeah. would have been like, why is this happening? Like, you know, who is this person? Like, the, yeah, the whole thing in the Shrinking Shack would have made no sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought it was quite it good. Was clever the way that yeah, that it was clever the way that they had that, and just the way that Remus reacted when he said Peter yeah, Pettigrew. Yeah. He's like, that's impossible. He's like, that's impossible, and just. You can just um, see you the can kind see of the like confusion and the, the confusion and the, and the, the kind of growing horror at the fact. Huh? Serious? Azkaban? Is this right? <laughs> yeah, the whole like the wheels start to turn. And it's like, oh, yeah, they this is what's yeah, happening. Yeah. Oh, when Remus hooks Serious when he oh, like gets yeah, that was the shack, I was that. like, I was gonna mm -hmm. mention that before when you were talking about the shrieking chat. Yeah, the fact that cause obviously I was someone who saw most of the films before mm -hmm. I read the book. Yeah. That moment where you think Remus has betrayed Harry I know, is so was like, good. Oh, the, like I had no idea what was going to happen. I, I know, didn't know that Scabbers is, is like actually Peter, but like the whole thing where you're like, it's a man, like <laughs> the rat's a man. <laughs> yeah, because that's where you get all the animagus stuff, and like before that we have. Well, we have McGonagall. Yeah. And we're like, okay, so this is so a thing that happened. But yeah. it wasn't a big plot point until Prisoner of Azkaban, and then Prisoner of Azkaban just like picks everything up. It just picks up speed. It, it just, just picks up the mind. It just yeah. It just picks up the action, mm -hmm. and then like he's you know we don't need all the stuff mm -hmm. from the first two movies now. Like we know the basics. That's and then Prisoner yeah. of Azkaban's like he is the rest of the world. It's getting real now. Yeah. It, it, it opens up the rest of yeah. the world beyond. It's not just yeah. about Harry, Ron, he, Hermione. Yeah. It's yeah. all about the wizarding world, the so wizarding world as yeah. a whole. I mean, yeah. and it starts yeah. so early. I mean, with Remus being on the train, it's yeah. like we haven't seen any teachers on the train uh -huh. before this point in the movie. So it's. I've like, got a theory about that actually because someone was saying, "Well, why is he even on the train?" I think he's on the train because he's the defense teacher, and mm -hmm. Sirius Black's on the loose, so he's there in case Sirius Black tries to get on the sense. train. It makes sense. It makes sense. Dumbledore does think ahead. <laughs> But, and he probably wants to see Harry as well. Yeah. Uh, true. Although, I mean, it was a total coincidence, really. Yeah, that bit was, but he could have, like, if he didn't fall asleep, maybe he fell asleep, uh, like, accidentally. So maybe he was going to patrol the corridors. Mm. He must be so, so he tired. would have, like, peeped in. Was a couple days left in the room, wasn't it? It was, like, a few days. Yeah. must be so tired. Like, oh, I have such a soft spot for Remus and Sirius. I'm like, these two, these two characters right here, I want to know everything about them. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, one of my favourite Remus moments was, um, well, I think I was saying this earlier, one that isn't even in the movie. Oh. It's the bit right before the Battle of Hogwarts where Tonks just sees, sees oh. Lupin, runs up the wards and they hug and then they talk about yes. Teddy. And I just and I just think to myself, mm. and the filmmakers chose to cut this out of the movie. I know, because it's so much. It's like, like we have Voldemort like, flaking like, off into the distance. I know, it's like, <laughs> like, don't like Remus you know, like, and Tonks are like suddenly together and it's like, when did this happen in the movies? Like, yeah. at what point did this occur? Yeah. Yeah. And you can see the arms reaching, which I thought worked on its own, but it's, mm -hmm. it gives a bit of context. All you really yeah. hear in the death of the arms is like, Oh, but oh, by the way, we have a son now. I've, I've, we've died, but yeah. Harry, can I you know. look at Harry? You're like, all gone. Harry, you're uh, Okay. <laughs> all right then. Like, it's like yeah, I've read the book. Good for me. But um, if I hadn't seen, yeah. I'd seen the movie, so mm -hmm. like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> when, when's this a thing? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. There's another moment that I've got from Goblet of Fire, but learning the dance with McGonagall. Yes. That whole scene. Yes. Where it's like one, two, three, one, yes. two, three. But Ron, Ron's face when he does it. Yes. The twins. The twins. I know. Oh, and oh, Harry, oh, oh. Harry, yes. yes. Harry has another sass moment. He's like, oi. Yes. Let's get this on I know, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, and the, the whole the, the boy yeah. moment as well, when it's like, uh, Mr. Weasley, can you come? And all the boys are like, yeah. it's like such a boy to Yeah, but then like, Neville thing. just gets up and like, well, yes. they're good for Neville. Neville's, 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 Neville's like, Neville's yes. Like, yes. <laughs> I have a dream. <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, he's from a pure blood family. Is he not going to have this education True. about dancing? And well, maybe not. Because I thought he was it's still... it's... So maybe they were like getting ready to let like, his kind of grandmother, yeah. though. I yeah. mean, she's. Seems pretty old fashioned. Mm. Yeah, I can. Yeah, to be But even so, you've got a bunch of boys on the same <laughs> row as you, and, and none of them are standing up. But it takes guts to stand it does, up for everybody it does else. Take. Griffin does. Yes, much, he's such as, a Griffin. As girl. much as it's good for dancing for both genders to do, it's seen more typically associated with women yeah, than it is yeah. with men. So yeah, even yeah. that so, bit where, um, sorry to interrupt you there, but even the bit where like it's not, I don't like it because it's very stereotypical of like look judging people by their appearance. Mm -hmm. But another bit where it's like. Um, something's about to burst out of Eloise, it? but it's only it's gonna be a swan. Uh -huh. yeah, it's like it's yeah. naughty. That's so... It's naughty, but it's typical. But it's real. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's real. Oh, you might have it. Even though I say us and Neville, well, then again, he can take himself. <laughs> that one's like <laughs> yeah, similar that kind as of, well. Yeah. But I love the way yeah. that he's like, no, no, he's, he's got a date, and it's like, yes, go on, Neville. <laughs> yes, Neville, <laughs> go for it. Even but... Ron's line afterwards, like, oh no, I'm really depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ferret scene. Oh, the ferret brilliant. scene. The ferret scene. Class. And then oh the continuation God. of the ferret yes. scene with the little patch during the U ball. Yes. This is that little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. Oh, oh that's so. Yeah, what that's what struck one. me about that scene is Harry's had had shit non stop for weeks. Like, yeah. And everything's like, right, we're going to give him one more where he's allowed to enjoy himself yeah. and his lap. Yeah. And because it's to Malfoy of all people. Yeah. It's a shame the guy who did I it. I have stories about your father curling in your Or even like, what? Well, we never use transfiguration as a punishment. Well, you do well to remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was just. Oh, it was hands and hands. But the thing about the dancing scene is, though. McGonagall, <coughs> Gryffindors, Snape, Snape, no, I mean, right. <laughs> I can imagine, like, yes, oh, I one must not make a fool of this house <laughs> while presenting towards the school. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see that. You so much as I've ever seen that. <laughs> let's be honest, Snape, when he was at school, is he going to be, <laughs> you know, <laughs> is he going to be the popular one for dancing? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, no, goodness, bless him. <laughs> Do you know what the, oh. the best bit for me about the U Ball? One of the best bits when <laughs> Harry's just had the little nightmare afterwards. Then Neville just comes in like, and Neville's like, Harry, I just got in. Me? me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, Neville, so much. Like, obviously, what Neville is one of our favourites. <laughs> oh, Neville. Oh, bless oh. him. But no, yeah. Oh, just that scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was <laughs> perfect. Scene. My waist. <laughs> Where? My waist. <laughs> My friend just go. <laughs> I love the fact that Ron was trusted for that because <laughs> just in each of his face, that just shows how good of an actor he is at yeah. that because his face just goes, oh yeah, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Like, what? In the stalkiness, <laughs> like, when we got to go, she hears him mention... Oh, yeah, like exactly, when she hears him mention Eloise Midge, is like... And then you see a lordly lion prepared to prance, like, she's looking at Rod. <laughs> yeah. like, and it's good, and then Rod yes. must be like, shh, that's the reason. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That line, though, about the lordly lion, oh. Yeah. She's just like, <laughs> so funny. If he hadn't made the rude comment, he wouldn't have got picked. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, dear. Like going on a less happy note, like the the scene where, like, because I think it, it, I can't remember if it was mentioned in the books or not, 
But you know when Umbridge's rules are like, girls and boys must not be within eight inches of each other. Yeah. yeah, it's just like on a loop uh -huh. constantly. Yeah. I can't remember if that's in the books or not. I don't think it was. I don't think it was either. So that's clever, the fact that she's like literally yeah. shoving it in uh -huh. their faces on yeah. top of this giant wall. She's yeah. got like her voice. Oh her yeah. Her voice. Yes. All around them. They oh. can't escape. Yeah, no. No, oh. nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody <laughs> wants that. <laughs> Girls and boys, let's not be within eight inches of each other. It's a great actor. It's a great actor. It's a great acting job. Oh, she's so good. She she could even just within 30 minutes make you do make her one of the most despisable characters of all time. Yes. You'd think that Snape would be the most hated teacher of all time. No. No, it's always over. I remember there was a quarter line from the book, you know, something like, Harry had never before considered the possibility there might be another teacher in the world he hated more than Snape. Yeah, it's like an actual But now he seems to have found a strong contender. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, which one do you hate more? I don't know. We both have very... <laughs> and the bit with Trelawney as well, where he's like, I actually want Trelawney to win this. <laughs> and then, but then he says something like, like she predicts his death again. He's like, I'm feeling yeah, less yeah. yeah. sympathetic. Less sympathetic. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm trying to think of ones later in the film. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little dance between Ron and Hermione in a platonic, it's a platonic, like, can mm -hmm. we just take the world off our shoulders for five yeah. minutes? Yeah. So that's they get that nice. little moment where they have their little, like, dance. and. They, although they do look at each other, I remember even when I saw it for the first time in the pictures, I didn't think they were going to kiss. Mm. I was like, at this point, it's so platonic mm -hmm. that it was just a funny little dance so that the fate of the world that literally rests mm. on their shoulders yeah. Yeah. isn't there for like yeah, a couple yeah. of minutes and then it's like right back to work. I think it also shows how good a friend Harry is as well. Yeah, because Hermione's just got over distraught. Hermione's yeah, just distraught yeah. at Ron. Leaves, she's, leaves them and then... And she's yeah. chosen him yeah. because she knows that they're doing the right thing. Yeah. Mm. And he's just trying to cheer up his friend. Mm -hmm. How much must it take for Mike to still maintain her head even in big emotional situations? Like, just, she's like, they so were not she's, strong. Ron like, says it, like, without Hermione, perfect. they were lost yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> There's one last two days with her, then she said, no, another, another, don't uh, tell her I yeah. said that. Yeah. 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 Don't tell her <laughs> Don't tell her because then she'll be yeah. right. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh dear. You know. That was yeah. a really tender moment though between yeah. the two of them and I think it fit yeah. the pacing of Death Alts Part 1 yeah. which is one of the reasons why yeah. it's my personal favourite yeah, film. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. good that the way, way. the way it just flows together I think And the bit where Ron yeah. comes back, you... Oh, oh Ron, so yeah! No, it's, 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 it's like the big... Yeah. Yeah. Harry, Harry Potter knew the fact he jumps mm. back, like he's supposed yeah. to yeah. hurt that he's evolved. Oh yeah, yeah I'm that, just that, like, Harry Potter, you can give me more! It's like, I don't know where it is. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Harry Potter, you give me my one! He's like, why has he got you one? I know, right? Just like, um, it's yep, she's she right, 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 well, Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, well, it's just like when, when she says you complete Ars Run away, it's, it's, it's the break says that you complete Ars Run away. I know, and I love the fact that you get those moments. Prison of Azkaban, going back to that again, <laughs> Hermione punching Draco. Yeah, so she goes to, like, that's the thing, because being mm -hmm. a Muggleborn, I like how it's the, the original, like, as I say, like, with the punching yeah, Malfoy. Yeah. And, but oh, she goes for a one to first that time. Yes, now. yeah. Um, but in this time, it's so, like, she's so angry, she's like, shoves yeah, in first, uh -huh. and then she suddenly goes, Harry, where's my wand? Yeah, and no. he's like, which no! I think, which I think really shows that even though she's, you know, greatest witch of the, yeah. of the time, yeah. I think it really shows how much, um, her, like, you know, growing up, it influenced her. Because when she's really angry, she goes for the, like, you know, mm. she's pretty physical with it. Uh -huh. Or like wordy. Yeah. yeah. She will curse if she like yeah. she can do uh -huh. something else. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's just like even the scene in the it is in the book, but the bit where it's like, um, hi Professor Moody, what a twitchy little ferret you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh -huh. she could have got a one out of yeah. But like uh -huh. no, she decided to like yeah. embarrass him. It's a good so. example yeah. of Hermione yeah. sass though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's, like, yeah. Hello Professor Moody. Yeah. <laughs> I know. think <sighs> Moody was such a great character, but like it was so present in Goblet of Fire. That in the other movies it was like kind of like oh he's there and he's got but he's there and, and he's there and he's got yeah. <laughs> and then he's yeah. there and then he's gone but in Goblet of Fire oh but it's actually so but technically it's not I know it's technically not him which is why I think it's really interesting to kind of like comparison. like how much did <clears throat> the guy pretending to be Moody actually know Moody because how he must have done he would have to have done exactly Dumbledore. exactly so to fool Dumbledore yes but there must have been certain things where he couldn't have picked up on it I mean you can't yeah. know everything mm. about a person well, I mean I suppose if he's got him under Cupundus as well like he's literally mm. sat yeah. in the yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, which so by the way I, lo I love that bit where they looked yeah. down and he was down there he's just like, like you're okay sorry Albus <laughs> he's just like no. Help the, me. The one, one, one yeah. of my favourite Moody lines from the books though is on Order of the Phoenix, was like, 
Oh, what was it? What, what are you doing here, Professor? He goes, I'm not so not so sure about Professor. I never got around to much teaching, did I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. funny. Uh -huh. Literally just to make yeah. a joke out of. Yeah, it's like yeah. typical Moody. Mm -hmm. So close to Moody as being humorous as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the moment was kind of in the books, but one bit was from Death Hills Part 1 where Moody said the line, For those of you who haven't taken quality juice potion before, fair warning, it tastes like goblin piss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any that? Do you, mad I? <laughs> just trying to diffuse the tension. <laughs> Like that's like that's yeah. kind of it's not in the it's not in the books, but I think mm -hmm. they added that line in the film. And it's just like yeah. it's so Fred to say yeah. that, oh, and it's so yeah. moody just to be like yeah. just treat. just like you're trying to be funny, Weasley. This is not yeah. the right time. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Weasleys. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, he's absolutely gorgeous. Let's get him inside before someone tries to kill him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, I'm just like, it's all fitting the ice cream on my table. Yes, it's all very touching, but let's go! It's like, yes, very yeah. good, nice, let's move on, yeah, come yeah. on. It's like, we'll do all this later. But I love, yeah, that absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Like, yeah, he's absolutely gorgeous. Because I say, yeah, yeah, like, come on, like, yeah. And now he's like, good evening. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what was great to actually see Ron and Lavender. <laughs> Lavender, Lavender in the movies was she so was spot on, spot yeah. on. So she was like the, the bit on the train where she breathes on the window <laughs> and does the little hat. <laughs> oh, it was great to actually yeah. see it. Oh, the bit where it's like, I think we've got, look, and he's like, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's, he's like, oh, I never knew this. Like, the awkward yeah. thing. I'm like, I'll just yeah. play with this thing. Yeah. He's like, I'm just gonna pretend. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna pretend happening. I'm not here. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, this thing. Yeah. Like, that lavender really got me nerves, but obviously that was the point That's of the her point. to get yeah, me yeah. nerves. That's really good acting. Yeah. But yeah. Just makes you appreciate Hermione more. And again, more. like Hermione yeah. and Ginny, she's like, mm -hmm. oh, so no, all teenage girls that age are really annoying and in your face <laughs> yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. the bit is well in Half the Prince where they're fighting over the potions book. That's brilliant. And then like <laughs> when Ron gets yeah. the like the good one, Harry goes. <laughs> yeah. That's like a like such a boyish. It's a boisterous voice. Like, so much as your voice just scuff, I was like, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love they got her, like, Hermione's head, all, like, with stress and everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm getting, that was I'm, great. Oh, I'm okay. getting out performed in a subject. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Actually, there was another bit that they, humorous bit, humorous bit where Hermione goes out with McClaggan. Well, goes out with yeah. McClaggan, but. Drunk balls. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> so, like, McClaggan, that's who you invited. I thought it would annoy Ron the most. And then he's like, mm -hmm. well, well, it's just this thing. Dragon Balls to give one horribly bad breath. Oh, second ball. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God, here he comes. He's got... What's yeah. this I'm eating? Dragon Balls. Snape comes. <laughs> first time. First time I saw that. I was down. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Snape's, so fast. Snape's line afterwards like, you just brought yourself a month's detention. Yeah. Coming. Not but so even... fast, Potter. <laughs> yeah. Even before he speaks, the look. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You know you're oh, in trouble. Oh, it's just like the <laughs> eyebrow. And he's just yeah. like. Mm -hmm. You've just bought me. Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> so good. Like, literally, I watched it the first time I watched Half the Prince. Yeah. I was 10 minutes on the floor. Yeah. Then I rewound it, watched it back, laughed at the time. Yeah. yeah. Rewound like, it, watched yeah. it back. You'd be like, I'm not going to be able to watch anymore. This is like a breath back. Oh, like, I'm just, just stop oh, laughing. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. I was just, oh, gone. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the moment in the Beauty and the Beast where it was like, how do you feel about growing a beard? I was gone. Like, yeah. that same kind of yeah. like, gone. <laughs> gone. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> Harry, after all, you, I'm assuming you must be wondering why I brought you here. Well, so after all these years, I just sort of go with it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, I'm not bothered anymore. Like, yeah, at this point, <laughs> at this point, just yeah, we'll or, see what happens. Totally or even, just expect or a kind of related, it. like when some, why is it when something happens, it's always, always you three. three. Believe me, Professor, I've asked myself the same yeah. question for six years. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure all the other students are asking that question even, as well. Even, even Ron and Hermione are like, well, we're always with Harry, so we know something's going to happen. So <laughs> yeah, you still yeah. it. There's never a dull moment. It makes school life interesting. <laughs> So like, what could possibly have happened when you were with Harry? Well, the philosopher's stool, well, the fact that there was a basilisk, the fact we had to rescue Sirius from the Dementors, we had the fact go and fight Death Ears at the Ministry. Um, secret organisations, yeah, just over and over again. <laughs> It's like Mummy today, I imagine that they're their kids like, hey mom, dad, tell me about the story when you had trouble with Harry again. Oh, where do we start? Which one? <laughs> like, they just get the, just, just get the parchment out. So. Yeah, Thestrals, the first time they meet oh, Luna. Oh, Thestrals yeah. are beautiful. Luna, who is my that sister's scene, favourite that's, character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That scene where it's just like, where she's explaining her mum's, yeah. but that is a really mm -hmm. good little like yeah. nibbit that's not in the book, where yeah. they're just out talking yeah. with Thestrals. Because obviously, it, it doesn't it start a little bit earlier in the books? Because um, obviously, because he saw Quirrell actually yeah. die in the books, which you, they don't show in the film, because he No, no, it doesn't, um, no, it actually isn't it does. Isn't it because of that? No, it does start, because like in the second one, it's, he doesn't see the Thestrals because the carts are pulled by him. Oh, right, okay, yeah. So it is actually after Cedric. 
but he doesn't realise it. He thinks he's gone mad at first. Yeah. Um, it's not until it's like I two knew or it three. Was somewhere. Yeah. It's um, it's two or three chapters mm -hmm. before the um, I Have the Snake. Yeah. Where Hagrid mm. actually teaches a lesson on Thestrals, uh, and Umbridge comes over yeah. and mm -hmm. gives him the yeah. 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 I knew it was somewhere. So it's actually a bit earlier than yeah, he finds out that he's not mad. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but no, like, I, I thought, as much as I do like the thing with Hagrid, because you do you sit, you sit mm -hmm. there, yeah. and you're just like, I'm rich, I'm gonna, like, yeah. Uh -huh. I, like, that's when, like, I remember reading the book after, I remember reading the book after I watched all the mm -hmm. book, and I went, um, bitch. I was like, um, <laughs> bitch. How dare you mess with Hagrid? The, um, con yeah. the controversy of J.K. Rowling had named a chapter, um, bitch. Oh. A character, um, bitch. No, I was like, wow. you bitch, um, bitch, you're um, bitch. <laughs> I was furious. Yeah, well. I bet it makes that line though where Harry's like, Potter, do something, tell them I need no harm. I'm sorry, sorry Professor. Professor, I must not, <laughs> I know, that line. I must not yes. tell the lines. Oh god, that was like, we were all child like, cruelty, we were all yeah, like, just like, it was so shocking to see it, wasn't it? It was like, oh, with uh, all the uh, chaos uh, and everything as well, because yeah. uh -huh. it's this pretty pink, Yeah, yeah exactly. Red. Like it really it stands so out among like, the dark like, thestrals. Uh -huh. It was like, it's, it's worse than Voldemort, let's Yeah, it's like, yeah, like, Oh, that would be yeah. one fight where if it was Voldemort against Umbridge, you'd probably side with Voldemort. <laughs> like, like, I know you're a wizard, right? you try to murder a lot of people, but in, I don't like you murder people, but in this case, we'll make an exception. Yes. Like, you kill her, then we'll try not to capture you for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll make you a deal. <laughs> then we'll try not to capture you for three weeks. Oh god. Imagine if Voldemort imagine if imagine Voldemort spent like twenty seconds with Umbridge, you'd get sick of her after yeah. five seconds. Yeah. But I like the fact but going back to the festival. Yeah, yeah. Going back to the festival. We're so good at this, we keep you know, keep going. Yeah. Um but I like the fact that you get that bit where they meet Luna and mm -hmm. the Thestrals and it's all tied together. Yeah. But I like the bit later on where she's feeding them. Yeah, that's, yeah, cute. that's, that's cool. such a, it's such a sweet poignant yeah. moment because you don't see Harry kind of outside his little group that often but no, Luna, like, Luna really changed that you know give you an opportunity to kind of see a bit a bit more of his personality mm. yeah away from uh -huh. obviously yeah like people do have different sides to them depending on who they're with yeah like, I would uh -huh. probably yeah. act differently with you two than I would with like some of my other friends yeah. or mm -hmm. with people who like yeah. teachers and that you have different sides to mm -hmm. you depending on yeah. who you talk to so for someone who you're super close with yeah. you can just like completely be yourself and not yeah, worry yeah. about it whereas Luna, he's just starting to get to know, so it's that kind mm -hmm. of like... Yeah, but you see, oh, so you see Luna and everything, so he's not as boisterous, he's no, a lot he's softer, calm, and then he's a lot calmer. Like, he's kind of like, you feel sorry for her because her shoes keep going missing. Yeah, and, like, I know. He, he, he's, he knows what it's like to be bullied because yeah. of Dudley. Yeah, exactly. So it's that kind of like, so, he feels sympathetic mm -hmm. and empathetic mm -hmm. towards yeah. Luna, so it's just like... Oh, yeah, I I just, Luna's such yeah. a good character. She's yeah. brilliant. She's the way she's so portrayed good. by Von Lynch as well. Oh, she is so good. Like... We're not even getting into casting because yeah, that's, 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 right. that's a whole different video. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> but it's, but it's, it's the fact that it's a way. It, 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 <laughs> I'm not even too. You're just the same as I am. <laughs> It's the way that they managed to characterise Luna on film within just two yeah, scenes like, that yeah. she's in. I know Luna. It's That's just, absolutely brilliant yeah, characterisation. Luna is so it was you know. spot on. It was just yeah. absolutely. As soon as you even saw her, you were yeah. like, yeah. and then I mean, when she spoke, you were like, yeah. yeah. And uh -huh. it, even at the end of the fifth Order of the Phoenix film or book, you get the sense Luna's just been part of Harry's group circle yeah. for, for yeah. since he started, yeah. which I find really incredible that she's only been in the last three books, yeah. but yet yeah. she's just as important a character a way, as what a lot of many of them are. And yeah. In a way, I like. Because obviously in the books, like there's a whole thing where Hermione doesn't like her. Yeah. And in a way, I quite like how the films don't have that. Yeah. That's one thing I actually yeah. really. Mm -hmm. I think the books. It's like I get why she doesn't like it because it's like it's she's so logic, logic, yeah. logic. Uh -huh. But at the same time, it's like my set kind of side of Hermione that we see where like her emotions just go out the window because logic's involved. Yeah. Like with mm -hmm. uh, Lavender when the rabbit died, yeah. she doesn't think. No. Hang on a minute, yeah. like, mm -hmm. this isn't the time for this conversation. Yeah. Like, so it is very, one of the biggest flaws Hermione has, but at mm -hmm. the same time it was nice not to have yeah. it because, in the films. Yeah, because you don't have it with um, Fleur as well in yeah. the films, because yeah. you, that's why, you, in the books, that's why you see Hermione act like that. You see <laughs> yeah. it with Luna and you see it with Fleur and more than anything else. Yeah. But in the film, so you didn't have that, and it was kind of nice not to have that. It was that, yeah, it could mm. kind of be like, because I mean, obviously, everyone's got flaws, and everyone has yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. person that yeah. was just like, I would just make you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, it's it's one of the things that's it's nice to see, like, Hermione doesn't really do anything, like, either way with Luna until like no. later on, until yeah. she grows on her. Yeah. So at first, she's kind of almost indifferent, whereas obviously yeah. in the book, she's very, she's not indifferent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
No, not at all. I think it's about the films, you see more Hermione more as a person rather than, in, like the books are strictly logic, logic, and yeah, mm. you get that early on in the movies, but you yeah. see her progress into a person. Yeah, yeah. Sort of realise, yeah, logic's there, but there's also human emotions as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to make us go back to Azkaban, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> You're not we sorry, we're, we're not sorry, we really. Again. The bit where, like, the whole bit with, I, I love what they do with, like, the time turner. I yeah. think the time turner yes. section is so much better in the film because you see so much more of Harry and Hermione's yeah, chemistry and personality. Mm -hmm. Like the whole yeah. bit where she's like, ow! And he's like, great, it's coming for us. Yeah, I didn't think, think about, about that. that. <laughs> right! Yeah, and the bit where he protects her and he's yeah. like, oh, that was uh -huh. Professor Lupin's having a really tough night. Like, <laughs> kind of like, yeah. <laughs> The, there's more yeah. action, which obviously doesn't always mm -hmm. mean that it's better quality. Yeah, but just the way that it, instead of just sitting waiting and talking. Yeah, and I think bit of that I think in the film it, it gives Hermione a much deeper insight into Harry because yeah, she's, you know you, you the whole bit where they're flying away on Buckbeak and she's and he's like you know that's the reason it wasn't my father it was me and everything and I think you know you get that a lot more in the film because yeah. you know you really get this sense that Hermione really, really understands mm -hmm. Harry and um, how he was so desperate for this connection to his parents because obviously he's yeah well, he, he's he, he, I mean even even at the end he still doesn't really have as much of a connection with his parents as he likes because he keeps getting this information in dribs and drabs about them. Yeah. And he keeps getting all these people's different opinions and everything. And, and he sees Snape. And, know, and, he, and he sees Snape's opinion of Lily at the end and everything. And his <laughs> and he, he already knows his opinion of James. Yeah. <laughs> that one's pretty uh, yeah, it's, well yeah. spoken. It's, it's not like Snape doesn't. It's doesn't hide not, that not one. No, he doesn't hide that not one. Hide it, but, um, even towards the end of the film, there's like this sense of he's still kind of searching for this connection. But I think Hermione more than anyone else knows about that because uh -huh. of the events in Prisoner of Azkaban. Mm. Yeah, yeah, she kind of she's because I think she probably looks at like that's like scene in that mm -hmm. kind of book yeah. is where she really looks at her parents and goes, "Oh my goodness, like, yeah. mm -hmm. thank God you're here." Yeah. Whereas oh. obviously, because she sees like obviously Ron's guys. I mean Ron's family. Ron's just family. Perfect. Is like, so Ron just can't understand. Mm. No. Exactly. Any of what Harry's going through. Whereas Hermione, even though she's like an only child, like as an only child, yeah, it's not quite as boisterous. It's not quite. And mm -hmm. she kind of and she has that yeah. perspective where she can look back and go, yeah. Holy crap, poor yeah. Harry. Yeah, no, because like, like, I mean, she's not on, she's not on her own. I mean, her parents, no, she's got she's parents, got who, parents who were like wary of the wizarding world, but they're still always there. They're and, still yeah. always there they're for fine, her. Except they're for the like, dentistry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, um, but Ron's family, I mean, if Ron had any problems, he could pick and choose who he went to. Yeah. Harry has never, ever had that. Yeah. Which is obviously why it's, his relationship with Sirius is so important, which is why Order of the Phoenix just breaks my yeah. heart. I know, <laughs> when like, he's time. such a father figure to him, and it's just like... And he sends him like, broom stuff, and like, in the film, it never really explicitly states it, whereas obviously in the book you get all this detail of, hmm, this could be from Sirius Black. Yeah. You need to test it for spells and curses and things. But in the film you don't get that, but obviously with the feather, you just yeah, get this sense of, oh, Harry knows and Hermione knows, but yeah, nobody that, that, else yeah. knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So see, they tell Ron later. Yeah. All the, you were over there. <laughs> yes. Right. Harry, what's he talking about? I don't know. Honestly, yeah. how could you be two times in one? That bit. That, there was yeah. another bit about the time trial I loved. It was when you see Hermione punch Draco uh, for the second time. Yeah. And then, and then, yes, well, it's not like, normal. I was like, this is not yeah. normal. Uh -huh. like, Good punch. Thanks. Yeah. It's, like, the, it's <laughs> the bit as well where Hermione goes, does my hair always look like <laughs> 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 It's such a like, yes. Like, it doesn't come, it doesn't come across as, a, as an angsty sort of way. It comes across as humorous. Like, yeah. does my hair always look like that? Hermione, not now. Not the time. <laughs> yeah, but it, it really it, it really shows that yes, this is probably what you would think. Yeah, like, <laughs> you go, yeah. Cause like whenever I'm like, because the McDonald's around the corner, they have a camera where you oh, can yeah. see us, like the cat, the like TV's like yeah. there, and then so you can see what you look like from yeah. behind. And every yeah. time I'm in that McDonald's, I'm like, <laughs> just is, is that always like. like <laughs> did, you, did you actually say that? Like, is that always on my hair like that? I didn't quite say that. But I was like, that's what yeah. I look like from the back, and then I like moved a little bit, and I was like. So this is what my clothes look like from the back. <laughs> <laughs> my hair's getting really long. Yeah. Like, because it's, it's like, yeah. so you're just kind of like, ha, huh, and then the woman mm -hmm. will be like, next. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, this is kind of, yeah. imagine Rupert Grimm walking, he's got his little wiggle, little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle yeah, going yeah, on, yeah. and he's seeing, he's in, and he's seeing it in the mirror. So they go, like, you'd be really self-conscious of everything. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I am, yeah. yeah. Chamber of Secrets, in the bookshop, Arthur Weasley and Lucius Malfoy. You want to see them fight, like, which yeah. isn't in the film, but I quite like the way that they did it. Yeah, where it was so almost like feeling. it was almost like a Mexican standoff where there was like that tension <laughs> yeah. where it was like ooh. <laughs> I love that and bit where he's like, well, um, 
the kind of, um, he's like, I can't remember Lucy's line exactly because it's been that long since I've seen it, but the kind of, he's like, um, he's, he's like, oh, about Voldemort, mm -hmm. and it's like, uh, he says something about him being a great wizard, or I can't remember the line! Yeah, oh, I can, I can remember, Come on, what was the line? It says a bit where he goes to Harry's scar. Yeah, and it's like, your so scar, it, your, your scar, scar is, is legendary, legendary. As, yes, as, as, as opposed to the wizard. Yeah, 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 yeah that's 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 which is obviously, you don't get that in, uh, you don't get that in the book, because no. the book's a lot more focused on him slipping the diary to Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Which is that line, I love that saying. line, yeah. and then it's the kind of, yeah. uh, Voldemort killed my parents, he's nothing more than a murderer, exactly. like that yeah. little yeah. interaction. Yeah, like, he yeah. must be very Thank you yeah. to the help. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Or very foolish. Oh, yeah. it's like, <laughs> my favourite line, yeah. like, <laughs> but it's, it's yeah. just the scene, it's just the, the tension of acting between uh -huh. mm -hmm. Arthur Weasley and Lucius Malfoy, the way that's acting, uh -huh. especially yeah. on I, Jason Isaac's face. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's that kind even of without, yeah. Even without even looking at their, yeah. even without yeah. their lines, you just look at their face and you just uh -huh. go, yeah. shit, they hate each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. Which of course yeah. they're going to. It's like, God, no wonder Draco and the Weasleys don't get on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I can never decide if I prefer the way the film or the book did it for the, they, car, for the way that they drove the car up to Hogwarts. Because the film is more dramatic. I like the bit where they fall out of the car. Yeah. I do like that. Like, yeah. It's like, go on, I can't. It's so yeah. so uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but it's kind of nice in the book where it's just like they're slightly bored when they get like, most of the way yeah, out. Because it feels like a proper car journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But obviously the film was uh, a lot more dramatic when they always hit the train. I thought that was really... I love how he's lying after he gets back in the car. Well, we I, think, the I, think, I think I find the train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and Ron seems more shaken than Harry, yet yeah. he's not the one who's been yeah. dangling from, was, dangling from the car. Yeah, that the was, was a like, line. <laughs> I'm thinking it's not your neck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's you know it's like you listen to Ron and Happy's voices as soon as Chamber of Secrets starts, you're like, whoa, this is a lot deeper than what they were last <laughs> yeah, time. Like, even like Harry, yeah. Harry's instantly yeah. like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, puberty has gone there. <laughs> I think of one from Death House Part 2 that I thought was like, <laughs> the, bit, the, bit, the bit where they just discuss right before they go to Hogsmeade, and they're discussing the plan, Harry and Ron take their tops on and everything. Mm -hmm. I made that sound in a way that, no, yeah. that, that sounds so <laughs> we know, weird. Know, yeah, but obviously, yeah. Know. And it was basically, that, and it was, they were discussing the plans, and Harry's line when he goes like, Hermione, when do any of our plans ever actually work? <laughs> I'm glad we get there, all hell yeah. breaks loose. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I love that as well. I love that. Yeah. 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 Money Rocker just got like, well, he's got a point actually. Yeah. None yeah. of our plans have ever worked to this point. Yeah, yeah. it's like, so we'll funny just we'll just have like, to wing it. Yeah. Like, let's just wing it and hope we're not discovered. Like, <laughs> and if we do, let's just fight all sorts of spells until we get yeah. in the Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. Another bit which I don't think you saw as much in the book, Voldemort's reaction to all the Horcruxes getting See, destroyed. Yeah, because mm -hmm. in the book that wasn't a thing because mm. he was so... Because of what he'd done is... The English. Because yeah. what he had done was so monstrous mm. and so like against the norm he could no longer feel an attachment yeah. mm -hmm. so I actually prefer the book version mm -hmm. just because like it seems a bit out there for like him to feel it mm. after being separated so many times yes. no personally I prefer the way the movie did it I See, I, you know I'm, I'm a book person you know, on that like, front because it's just and as well I, Harry would be able to feel it more and then they probably would have clicked earlier it's like yeah they start to realize it and obviously Hermione sees yeah. it first because mm. Hermione but like obviously, but you think even uh, to be fair, I think Harry says, doesn't he, in that scene that we argue over, he feels like he's known it for a while. He's just yeah. kept it quiet. Yeah. But I do. I I, I prefer yeah. the book version of that just because I feel like because of the way that it's been described of how monstrous the way Voldemort mm. split his soul is yeah. and how disgusting it is, and but I think Dumbledore mm -hmm. even says in the box like he's so like apart from them now that like, you can't even feel them anymore. See, to me though, like even but with the way the Voldemort feels the reaction, the whole crop is getting destroyed makes him even angrier and more monstrous to stop them from going after further Horcruxes. So to me, it yeah, works on that basis. I, see, I think that's going to be a... That's another one we're not going to agree. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to take sides on this one. <laughs> oh, just sit on, this, I'll just sit on the fence. I can't quite yeah. decide for myself. It's one of those where it's just preference, I <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah, I On the scene, we, we mentioned the scene we disagree with. The scene where they, where Harry's gone to the Forbidden Forest when he finds out he's a Horcrux. That scene obviously wasn't in the book, so that technically counts. Yeah. So to me, actually, that was one of, my, that was one of the scenes I thought was done really well, oh, see, and yet scene. you, and yet that's the scene that oh, really that, got you going. Do so you know the scene where basically, um, I'm gonna say it from my point of view, um, so you know he comes down the stairs, and when I saw Ron and Hermione see him, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna have a really dramatic moment, and he's gonna have to stun them into not letting him go, like it's gonna be, oh, they're gonna cry, and then it's like, so I'm gonna go off and die, and they're like, okay, bye, <laughs> and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> like the most dramatic moment we get is Hermione going, I'll go with you, and it's like, even then it's like, so, right, you have had seven yeah. years of bullshit with this boy. Yeah. And like, literally, Ron's, I mean, again, like, I suppose they could be in shock, but like, it's that kind of, literally, like, it could, they could have made that. Such, uh, if they'd done it the way.
way that I imagined it would have been done, that scene would be my favourite. Because mm -hmm. if because I've got this image in my head of Harry going to them two, you're not gonna let me go, are you? And them going, no, you know, a bit like with Goblet mm -hmm. of Fire, it's like, are we ever gonna have a quiet year at Hogwarts? And they go, no. Yeah. Like I was imagining almost like a thingy mm -hmm. to that. Yeah, yeah. And then him going, like stunning them, and then kind of going, you're the best friends that I ever could have had. And like, yeah. him, like he has to physically, like, pull his totality yeah. or something to get them to stop. And I just had this idea, like, as soon as I started, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna have to yeah. stop. It's gonna be so beautiful. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. How do you feel about the bit with the elder wand at the end? Where is this where it? it? Yeah, how do you feel? I, I prefer the original where it's like, it gets put back where it belongs. Really? I think the way the movie did it would have worked, but I would have liked them to have seen him repair his old one first, and then yeah. sort of, that probably yeah. would have, you yeah. know, I, 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 I'm sorry Harry, I question your logic on that yeah. one. Yeah, I, I think maybe even like, what, just like run, run in second year, just put some tape yeah. on I think, I think to be fair, I think the way the movies did, because I think that was very convoluted for me in the book, I never mm -hmm. quite got. Yeah. Well you could break I mean, it, then put it know, back where it belongs. Yeah. That yeah, would that would make more sense. Like, fixes well, that, yeah, that would actually yeah. make complete sense. Yeah, he fixes his own one, he breaks the mm -hmm. elder one, and then puts it back in the yeah. Imagine right. Dumbledore's yeah. portrait. Spoilers. Dumbledore's portrait. He's like, oh, you can just break the one, then just put it back in me tomb. It's alright. Yeah, like, just yeah. go back in hands. But we well, might as well, well, we'll make it work. Can you repair it while you're there? Like, all of us have to write yeah. this. Yeah. No, to me, I, I was fine with the way the book. It's not about the book. Um, well, <laughs> Well, the way the movie did it, I, I didn't have I any, I didn't have any problems with it. I was kind of like... To me, it felt like it was definitively done. The yeah. The one was done, it was final, there was nothing else. Yeah, that was that kind of like... But then someone that, like, he's like, I'm done with all this, and then he goes off and becomes an Aurora who, like, catches stuff with it. Yeah. Like, you're not really done, are you? Yeah. <laughs> you're no. like, this is... Like, you think he would have been like, just, like, but but like oh my god, take a break, go on holiday. <laughs> But you can just imagine it. Just if Harry takes the other one with him though to go and hunt them um, dark wizards <laughs> and everything, that's going to open yourself up for a really big can of worms. There. Like you can just imagine if someone imagine by the book's logic, if, if a death if a death or a dog with disarms Harry, oh shit, this has got really complicated. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie it's, daisy. It's not that. It's the emotional climax where it's like you know the film. They're like, oh, it's you know. Has he thought about it? Is it an impulsive moment to snap the wand, you know, just yeah. chuck it off the yeah. side of Hogwarts, which by the way, like, somebody's gonna, gonna go look for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and then in the books it's like, emotional moment, it ties to Dumbledore, and it's like, mm, yeah. which, which I, emotional I, I think, climax do you want more? Yeah. I think the yeah. hybrid that we've just come up with is perfect, so he fixes the wand on yeah. screen, mm -hmm. yeah. then breaks it, and then tells the portrait he's gonna put it back in yeah. its place. Mm -hmm. right, and then right, obviously yeah. anybody mm -hmm. who's to be fair, oh no, no, in the film that they show, Voldemort taking it out, mm -hmm. so it still makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that would have been a good way to end it if he said, I'm going to put it back where it belongs, and then we'll yeah. see like, oh, but like, you could have mm -hmm. broken them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think a hybrid of the two would have been yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to be fair, the fact you see Harry stare at the one for like a couple of seconds yeah, before, before he breaks it to the end. That's in yeah, yeah. That's but in it's like, uh, I think with the hybrid we came up with, it would have had both of those emotional climaxes yeah. so with like Harry actually making a decision <laughs> on his own. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Um, and also his kind of respect for Dumbledore, even mm. though, you know, yeah. he's like, let him his oh, oh, Yeah, I know, right? He told him to slaughter him. Like, to, like to why? Me, <laughs> imagine you just had Ron's dark eyes at that moment, like, you destroyed the Elder Wand. Oh my god, yeah. Like, yeah. like, like that was like, yeah. Yeah. I shall eat your soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was listening, the point you were making about the scene that we disagreed with, because I didn't get to put my point across, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, why, yeah, why I felt it worked. To me, I felt it worked, because I know you're going to say, like, it's whether you buy the whole shot thing. To me it is, because Ron, across in the movies, has never been show, known to show emotion overtly because as other. Right. Well, you kind of get to a point, but what I mean is, Ron would be more likely to slowly react in shock than Hermione, yeah. I think, would. But even to Hermione me, didn't react as yeah. enough. But see, even then, could that not be Hermione's logic, though, to some degree, thinking, well, mm. if, we're, if, if, if we go with Harry, we could end up dying as well. We can't destroy the Horcruxes. No one else will know about them, apart from Neville, half we yeah. know of them. But logic it, between, like... I, I don't like I know. this girl, and logic between I'm just gonna let my best friend I know what you mean, his but death. It's a uh, bit of But Hermione has yeah. been known to think of logic in some extreme situations though. Yeah, but there's extreme and then there's extreme. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been pretty extreme situations across the series where Hermione has thought of logic. Mm -hmm. Not as emotionally driven yeah, as that probably. Yeah, that is such a like, that's like, kind of, your best friend going, I have to die to lose this war, no matter how logical you are. You're gonna have an opinion on that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. 
Like, I, I, I can see why you feel like that. So I think, again, it's probably me, one of those where it's like... To me, I mean, I think the idea you put across could come... It depends how it's done. To me, that would come across as too dramatic to some extent. If they did it properly. It's a big if, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a big if. Go on, Tina, what do you think? <laughs> I... On the spot. Dang it! <laughs> go on. See, I'm never sure about that bit. I usually kind of, like... Kind of gloss over it in my head because I'm like too many problems <laughs> like because there's so many alternatives that could have happened mm. I mean it's your best friend you think about your best friend now if your mm. best friend said to you I'm gonna go die <laughs> you know I'm gonna go do this thing to be honest I'd probably knock them out stuff them in a cupboard somewhere yeah <laughs> <laughs> you would grab them yeah. Yeah. like lock them away somewhere yeah, yeah. yeah that's the natural like think, human response but it just wouldn't have worked it would not have worked if they tried to stop him because it had to Unless happen they in order. Him. It had to happen because otherwise Voldemort wouldn't have been defeated. No, that would have just like. That's what I mean. So that's what I'm saying. So if you add that bit where I was saying about the unless Harry had stunned them, so like yeah, 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 yeah. Know, like, I know. whole thing where it's like you're not gonna let me go. Even they're like no, and then yeah. he has to like stun yeah, him yeah. and say like his little piece. Well, we're clearly not going to agree on this. So if you guys put your thoughts in the comment down below, did you like that scene? Did you think it was good? But we could have. Uh, do you think it was good but they could have improved on it? Like the suggestions that I made? Or do you think something completely different? Or do you just prefer the book version? But we're going to stop that before it turns into a fist fight. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> oh, right. Lily's Don't mean returned! To be Lily's oh, returned! Oh dear. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> yes. We do have more points to make. Yeah. <laughs> we have a couple more and then we're going to leave you guys alone. Um, <laughs> So, Michael, you had a good point while we were wrangling okay. the dog. As you've probably, obviously, everyone watching the Harry Potter films will have known, a big thing that was changed was the fact the last battle between Harry and Voldemort in the book was basically one spell, bam, over, done. Well, there, Whereas, there was a dramatic well, thing. Well, there was dramatic, like, but, was that but, full, but like, the actual confrontation itself. Dialogue was, that yeah. happened as well. But the actual, no, like, the actual physical, physical yeah. No, physical it was just two spells. Whereas in the, as in the movie, they had to make it more cinematic and it basically smash the shit out of another, uh, again, out of Hogwarts, even though it's already been blown to smithereens. Hogwarts? Oh, I know. <laughs> Hogwarts just doesn't have the best time of it. No, it's it like, doesn't. This year needs to be over. That was Hogwarts is 2016. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was Hogwarts is 2016 that year. It's like... Goodness me. <laughs> 1998 was Hogwarts is 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're fine. Yeah, no. I think the thing about the... The way it was done, I liked because it was it was meant to be whole cinematic. You couldn't just yeah. have them all after the movie how it all been climactic. It was explosions going off and everything was going on. You couldn't just have the your main hero and an antagonist just have one spell and then bam, that's the fight over. Yeah. That'd be really really anticlimactic. So I thought the way they did it wasn't too long. It wasn't too stretched out. Yeah. It was concise, mm -hmm. but it was dramatic at the same time. Um, even though Voldemort turns into a bunch of fight, a bunch of little yeah, fire no one likes that bit. Like... You know, I didn't mind it as much actually. I watched it uh, in the cinema in 3D, so having parts of Voldemort flying at you in 3D was very, <laughs> it was, it was very disconcerting. <laughs> it, yeah. it was like, hmm, just, you know, a child on, on a bit of Voldemort. <laughs> so like, love one. Yeah, like, everybody close their mouths, close their eyes. <laughs> He's just forget nachos and hot dogs, Voldemort and his whole <laughs> Oh yeah, Voldemort on my nachos, lovely. <laughs> he blends it with cheese. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, no, that was pretty cool. I like the whole, because it, I mean, like, because everyone, bless, Harry gets such a hard rep sometimes. Like, I will defend Harry, especially in the fifth book, but I'll make a separate video about that, because that'll be like <laughs> 20 minutes of me defending him. But, like, people give Harry such a hard time about he's so angst, he's not actually that good of a wizard, like, everybody else saves him, he doesn't really do that much, the only thing that really saves him is Lily's love. A lot of people kind of give him a really bad time, whereas when, in the scene you're describing, mm. he gets to actually, although again, obviously Voldemort's way superior, but Voldemort is like, Dumbledore level, like, so, yeah. that's just a thing. But you get to see that Harry has actually, like, picked up spells, mm. he can do more yeah. than like, spells. Which, yeah. almost, like, hanging expected. around with Hermione for so long, how could he not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? like, it gives him a chance to be like, mm. I may not be the best, but I'm better than you think I am. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So it's and nice that he gets that moment where he can be like, see, I paid attention. Sometimes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you also yeah. get that big badass moment where he just says, come on, Tom, let's finish this the way we started. Together. Yes. And pulls him right yes, off the Yes, that was, just that was a very... I remember yeah. seeing the trailer. Remember we saw the, tra the trailer for the first time and you see that moment mm -hmm. like, oh yeah. my God. It was, it was so personal as well, the way he used the, his name, Tom. Yeah, Tom. It was like, yeah, it I love was how so... he starts calling him Tom. Uh -huh. It's like, yeah. it's that extra like, like salt yeah. to injury. Mm -hmm. for to uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
And it's just that it just literally again is the full circle thing. Mm -hmm. so yeah. It yeah, both yeah. started with the two of them and then it's like, right, this is going to finish. Like, yeah. It is over. <laughs> yeah. But no, yeah, that is a cool like yeah. I like both versions. Like I like the fact that the film went different, mm -hmm. but I also like the whole there's that yeah. but everybody gets to figure out what is going on. Yeah. Kind mm -hmm. of moment. Yeah. As well. For the book. The book's ending for the book works. Oh the book for the book works. Yes. Yeah, I think each yeah. each of their own endings work. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing, because some things as much hi. Yeah. Some things as much as you want them to be the same as the book. Half of the Prince has so much internal and like almost like politically things in it. Mm -hmm. They had to add Which, that scene where the borough got blown up yeah. just to keep people yeah. Some people, well, some people, we would have been fine, but like to get yeah. some people interested, like, oh look, explosion now. Yeah. Back to the Which stuff. I think, I think the kind of really reflected in kind of the lighting of that movie it was very yeah, dark. It was. Like all of a sudden, it was just like it, it like toned everything right down. Which yeah. I think was, it went from like one to a hundred. Yeah, which <laughs> which it definitely kind of changed the tone of the movie. I thought I thought there was a definite kind of difference mm -hmm. um, just because of those kind of choices in the movie. Yeah. Um, which obviously you don't get, uh, you don't get from kind of Harry's internal struggle. Yeah. Because you don't. Because well, that whole book is basically what's Draco up to? Yeah. Where's Dumbledore going? Yeah. What's yeah. Draco up to? What's Dumbledore yeah. doing? Yeah. Like, that's basically yeah. the entire movie, but in a way mm. that's clever and that you can yeah, read yeah. the book without like. The main point of the Prince obviously <laughs> to learn more about Tom about yeah. Voldemort, isn't yeah. it? It's, it's like, like who's yeah. the Prince? But what's it's, Dumbledore yeah. doing? What's Draco up to? So that is like yeah. Part of like, as well, it would be difficult to write a six hundred page book based on that when that's yeah. Yeah. When that's what happens. Yeah. yeah. But I thought the. I love that borrow scene. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I love the books, but I thought it was a great addition. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, like, I, I like bits of it. Like some yeah. of it, yeah, like I did enjoy it. It was interesting to add in. Like I love the whole bit where, like, obviously, like they lure him out and mm -hmm. just never yes. does, he? Like, he, he doesn't learn. No, that, I, I think, think that was Remus, nice to see. You know, it was, <laughs> it was the first actual Remus Tonks moment yes. that we've had as well, where it's yes. like, yes. Where, like which is held one rubble. of the only like you're gasping for Remus Tonks. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're in a desert. You're like, you're like. <laughs> Yeah. Mainly because uh -huh. they both deserve happiness. Yes, and oh, and they didn't get it. Oh, oh no, it makes me so sad. <laughs> Just, but yeah, and, and I mean, Tonks is like this amazing Hufflepuff, and you don't really get that in the film. Yeah. So you're like, you want all these moments, but the moments you do get are really good. Yeah. Mm. But no, yeah, they did the battle very yeah. well, and obviously the whole yeah. the McGonagall bit as well. It's just obvious. It's like, oh wow! Oh, I always wanted, to, you know, like it's oh, so like. She's and so then, good. Oh, Even oh my goodness! I've just thought of one of the biggest things that we've missed. That's oh, no. fantastic oh, about the something. films. Seamus and his explosion. Seamus. Oh, that was good. Like, oh, Seamus. And then it just like that great yeah. climax at the end, and it's like, oh, I'm so glad I suddenly remembered <laughs> that. Like, Seamus! Seamus is like. You begin one of the best bits oh. to go, like, let me get this straight, Professor. You're actually giving us permission to do this. That <laughs> is <laughs> correct, Longbottom. Like, to blow it up. <laughs> Boom! Like, wicked, but I'm going to do that. Why did you call Mr. Finnegan? As I recall, he has a particular expert for, for expertise for pyrotechnics. I can blow the thing on. That's a spirit. Are we? Finnegan was like, but it's the oh. fact that it's obviously it's completely film. It's not mentioned yeah. in mm -hmm. the um, yeah. books at all, and it started in Philosopher's Stone, mm -hmm. and it's and it's not in your face. Like as I no. say, it's in Philosopher's Stone, yeah. and it doesn't happen. Like it's it's kind of yeah. it's there, but it's not like it happens in the yeah. whole it's not like, for like look, one second. Yeah. I know, right? Right? <laughs> like it's that yeah. kind of beautiful balance of yeah. you can tell yes. this happens a lot, yeah. you even happen. without it happening yeah. a lot. Yeah, exactly. You subtly refer to the fact that right yeah. Yeah. it like, happens again, like in Hot Blood Prince when it's just the yeah. portion yeah. that was. Mm -hmm. But you know that. Yeah, and it's just like. I just and look, it was just brilliant because like you kind of expect him to kind of like you know get into that kind of trouble but then at the end when she gave them permission it was like oh this is what we've been waiting for <laughs> this is like here we yeah. go it's like let the game must begin yeah <laughs> oh yeah it's yeah so you and his army <laughs> it's you so and, you and you, oh. I know like you and his army and then it's like well there's a lot of them we step, can't get yeah. the no. step when you just the go step. like yes oh. and then we'll spend oh. like oh. That bit, yeah. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, I'd better start running. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go that way. Yeah. I'm going to go that way and then yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like kind of like. <laughs> yeah, huh? Oh, it was so. Yeah. Oh. Why well, you mentioned the Boris scene though, I did like that from Art oh, of the Prince yeah, though, that was, that was one of the better bits yeah. of that film. I thought Bellatrix yeah. was like, you know, yeah. just the way she was kind of woven in there and yeah. stuff. Yeah, speaking of Bellatrix, in the. Um, Order of the Phoenix in the department. Oh. Like, like she she shows up like it's the first time you see her properly and she's like, yeah. he knows how to play. <laughs> Itty 
Bitty Baby, baby. Potter. Potter. Oh. And it's just like that is your first like, your true introduction to Bella. And she's so on point. Oh. It's like Oh, just Helen of Minecraft! I hate Bellatrix because serious, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> but oh, that was so yeah. Do you know one and the things, whole like sorry, you there, there was one subtle thing she did when she goes, baby Potter. She yeah, waves a wand in her. She waves a wand in her hair, and yeah. I just think I don't know yeah. what it is. Just watching it's that, just, she's just so, subtly like, brilliant. She yeah. she just thinks that they've won. Yeah, like, she's yeah. like, we have got she's these so kids, co- and. Yeah. and, and from that moment, you see it every time you see it. Every oh, time yeah. you see it, and even even in the, her final scene, she's so confident. And you watch yeah. it, and you're like, I, you're like, you love to hate her. Yeah. It's so mm. good. Uh-huh. And like, the whole thing, like between sorry, between like her and like Lucius, mm-hmm. where Lucius is like trying to haggle with them and trying to like gently coax it mm-hmm. over because he knows if they don't get that prophecy back, they're in trouble. Uh-huh. Whereas Bellatrix is just like. These kids are not an issue. <laughs> Give no. us the thing. Yeah. Like, Bella Chase, you clearly haven't come across Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't. She can ask about it. But the, the, the best bit of that scene for me is when, when she goes, Neville Longbottom, is it? How's mum and dad? Oh. And, you know, and, it, and it's the bit when Neville looks oh. like he's going to be better than about to be, about to be avenged. And, and Harry is like, oh, It's like, shit, yeah. you don't know what you're going to get. It's almost like, it's because we're just like, it's almost as if like Lucius and Harry are like mirroring each other. Yeah. Mm. And Neville, who you wouldn't think would be like no. Bellatrix, yeah. is the Bellatrix. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It, like Neville is the Bellatrix of that mm-hmm. group yeah. in the sense that like, Harry's having to be like Neville, uh-huh, yeah. in the same way that Lucius has been like Bellatrix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's that kind like, of weird. The, I mean, they're the two with kind of the most reason mm. to go for each other. I mean, yeah, Lucius and Harry kind of had their moments and like from yeah. Chamber of Secrets. But, it's so not to have the history. but they have the history and they have the real deep seated emotions that means yeah. they want to go for each other, whereas, you know, Lucius and Harry are like, you know, they have their like little thing, but it's not like vital that they do something about it at that moment right there. Yeah, they've kind of got right. like this kind of, they've had the tiny rivalry, yeah. but it's nothing yeah. compared to Bellatrix Nothing compared to Bellatrix and Neville. Like she basically mm. yeah. took away everything from yes, it. Yes, yeah, exactly. You know? And again, there's a whole bit where like Harry like messes with Lucius and the fact he manages to mm-hmm. trick him as well, in the sense that he kind of goes, like he makes Lucius think that he's going to give him the mm-hmm. prophecy. And it's yeah. that, um, I've waited 14 years and he's like, I know. And it's like in his head he's going, great, Potter's mm-hmm. going to give me it, then we can take the kids. Then like we can deliver Harry Potter to yeah. Bolt, like yeah. to the Dark Lord, Dark Lord's favor. Yeah. Like, Dark Lord's favor. Yeah. We're gonna get extra brownie points, and then it's like, nope, we're gonna fight back. So yeah. I guess I can wait a little longer. Might as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, but yeah, for so how for how often people say, oh, the films aren't as good as the books. The films aren't as good as the books. They do have their own little quirks, as we've mm-hmm. discovered in the yeah. last. Two hours of whatever we've been filming. That we had a lot of yeah. points. Yeah, exactly. we had a lot of points. This was supposed to be a ten things. I think we've, we've done more than yeah, ten. Yeah, well, we've done ten, more ten, ten things plus many others. <laughs> yeah. I think to be honest, like with the, with the films, you've got more time restraints, budgetary restraints with yeah, them, so it's impossible it's so to include difficult. everything in yeah. every one of the books. So. But the fact they managed to add their own things and make themselves yeah. different as well, mm-hmm. then that's really yeah. yeah. But the fact well. they work as well. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah. Like, and I think that's a real appeal of the films as well, where you're getting something slightly new, not completely. It's something you're familiar with. But you get so you get a little bit extra. As but it's, well. a, it's a balance between being adaptations of the books and being relatable to people yeah, who haven't and being read their the own books. Because yeah. they'll still have fans, an audience who haven't read the books yeah. as well. So, yeah. yeah. So I think they do the balance generally quite nicely. Yeah. 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 So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be sending links to Michael's channel if you like football, particularly Sunderland good channel to go to. You do a couple of Harry Potter things, but it's mostly Done a football, couple of things. isn't it? Yeah, the Harry Potter so things are less depressing. If you enjoy, <laughs> if you enjoy yeah. football-y kind of things, then go over to Michael's mm-hmm. channel. I'll link it down below. Thank you. And Tegan has her wonderful blog, which yes, was do. in a previous video, but I will link it down again in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye! Bye.